Nothing will save you more time in Excel than learning the shortcut keys. Auto filter is a brilliant command. Click anywhere on the sheet, Control Shift L, filters appear. Normally you can click on these and do whatever you like, but if you click in the header, Alt and the down arrow will bring that up manually and you can scroll around and do untick or tick any you like. Now, let's say we've unticked them all apart from regular air and on here we picked a particular customer name. But say we now just want to go to another customer. Well, if we go on there again, Alt down and then just hit the letter C, we clear that particular columns filter. And if we want to click them all, we can always do Control Shift L to get rid of all filters or put them back on again straight afterwards. Data and formula entry shortcuts can save you a whole host of time. So first up, fill down. If I put this formula in here for the profit percentage, highlight the area I want that formula, Control D, fill down. Excellent. Right, even better perhaps, flash fill. So say I want first name in this column, all I need to do is type in the first name there, Alicia and then control E and it will recognize whatever pattern it thinks it's recognized fill all the way down the column. Isn't that great? Bulk entry then. So I want to put a formula in here, but first I know it's all going to go down through there. So then I type equals then for the formula link there and uh, control enter and in it goes across the entire range. Right, fill across. Control R, profit percentage this direction, profit divided by sales, highlight across there, Control R, there you go. There's two ways of making an instant chart in Microsoft Excel. Firstly, highlight the area that you want to chart. First shortcut, Alt F1, gives you an instant chart in the same sheet. Secondly, highlight the area you want, F11 on its own, a new chart in a new sheet. Once you've got this chart, you can change the design and the format and even the chart type using the standard toolbar buttons in Excel. You can insert and delete rows and columns using shortcut keys. Click on any row and Control Shift equals will bring up an option to insert an entire row, entire column, or any combination. So if we say an entire row, there we go. But also if we use Shift Space to highlight the row in advance, then Control Shift equals will simply just insert that row immediately. If we want to insert a column then, Control Space will highlight the whole column and Control Shift equals will then do that. Now whilst the column is highlighted, Control Minus will remove it. If it wasn't highlighted, Control Minus will again bring up the option as to what it is exactly we want to delete. I'm going to cancel that with Escape. Same with the row, if we highlight the row, Shift space or in fact even if we highlight two rows shift space control minus both get deleted we can also hide rows and columns using shortcut keys and also unhide them again so click on any row and control 9 will hide that row control shift 9 will unhide it now, if we didn't know where it was hidden, so for example, Control 9, that is hidden, you can see on the left hand side there, there's a number missing, so that's one giveaway, but also there's a slight gap in the side. But highlighting that area surrounding that and hitting Control Shift 9 will unhide anything that's hidden in that range. For a column, it is Control 0 to hide the column. And then to unhide the column, it is Control Shift Zero. Now, 
quite often in Windows 10 especially, Control Shift Zero is used to do with keyboard settings. So there's a link in the description about how you can switch that off because sometimes Control Shift Zero does not work as it should do because Windows has effectively uh, commandeered that shortcut key combination for unhiding columns. One of my personal favorite shortcut keys is grouping rows or columns. So if I want to group several rows together, Alt, Shift, Alt, and the arrow key will show whether I want to group rows or columns. So I can say rows. Of course, if the row is highlighted with Shift space already, then Alt, that same shortcut key will automatically detect rows. What about columns? Let's get rid of these. So again, same thing. Alt, Shift, that will let you pick columns, but assuming that we cancel with that, Control, Space, and then Alt, Shift, Arrow, automatically groups those columns. Here's some great date and time shortcuts. First off, today's date, Control, Semicolon. There you go. Today's time, right now, Control, Shift, Semicolon. What if you want them both in the same cell? No problem. Control semicolon, put a space, control shift semicolon, off you go, recognizes it as a date and time. If you want to go straight to a particular type of cell format, there's some great shortcut keys. So first off, general number format is control and the squiggly line, All right? Number format, control shift one, straight off. Percent, control shift five percent. Currency, control shift four, and that will put up whatever your default currency is for your version of Excel. And this one I love, it is the date, which is control and hashtag. And there you go. I don't like the format of the sales numbers on this sheet. Highlight that. Control 1 brings up the format sales box. Whatever's highlighted at this time, so which is the dotted line around number, you can see there. Arrow keys move between the various tabs. Tab moves between the various boxes. So we can say we want a number. Move on, number of decimal places, zero. Use the comma separator. You can see the letter U is underlined. Hit the letter U. You can see the OK button is highlighted, so we can just hit Enter on that. Oh, I wanted something else done. Control one. I want some kind of ridiculous uh, font color. So I'm going to go right, tab, 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 tab. Font down. Whatever font color I want. How about bright green? Select, selected. Tab again, okay, off we go. So I've got this data and I think there's something wrong with this rank formula. If I hit on any cell and hit F2, I straight away go into edit mode of that cell. So I need to escape to come out of that or enter if I'm changing it. I can go back up to here, F2, back in the formula. I can now click on any cell and click on F4, which will toggle through making absolute columns, absolute rows, relative column, absolute row, absolute column, relative row, or everything relative. So on this particular occasion, that one, we need a absolute column. And then instead of clicking just one at a time on these, if I do that, they will go one at a time. But if I highlight both of those, as I know I need to fix them both, F4 fixes it all, hit that, and double click on the corner of the cell to fill down formula is corrected. There are also two ways in which you can make your own shortcut keys as well. The first is very simple. 
Firstly, you need to add the command you want the shortcut for to your quick access toolbar. And the way you do that is you click on the customized quick access toolbar up there, go to more commands. And uh, for example, I'm going to pick refresh all, which is if you've got a lot of pivot tables, very useful. Click in there, click OK. Now, once it's up there on your quick access toolbar, you can click Alt and that will give me number seven straight away to access that. So that is the first way. Secondly, by clicking, hovering over these icons, you get told what the shortcut keys are anyway. So it just so happens I've added one there. Control Alt F5 would do the job anyway. Right, the next thing is if you're doing something a bit more complicated, you can simply record it as a macro. And when you hit record macro, one of the things it asks you for is the shortcut key. I could type, and by holding down shift, I can make a, put a letter in, so I can have control shift D, for example. Uh, but the problem is, you does it allow you to pick letters that are already assigned to other shortcuts. So be very careful which letter you pick if you're going to go down this route. I hope you found something new in amongst all those shortcut keys. I've pulled together this one page cheat sheet of all the everyday essential Excel shortcuts. I'm giving this away today completely free. Just click on the link and I'll send you this straight away. Don't waste any more time in Excel. Get this free cheat sheet right now. Click the link.